Hey everyone, Jason with Fuck Outdoors. And today we are starting here, the video, at the end point of our hike. As you can see, David's got his car there. We're all get, jumping in my car. And we are going to be heading around the mountain to Vincent Gap. And that is where we start this hike. Uh, there's going to be four of us on this trip. Me, David, Don, and Robert. Monica's also coming along. She's dropping us off and then picking us up on... Uh, Sunday. So in two days, I should be in the same spot. Two hours later, we are here at Vincent Gap. Uh, David here just packing up his stuff. You can see the light over there is Robert. Don's behind me somewhere, and then uh, Mike and Diamond are over there. But I don't know how well it's going to turn up, but we got almost a full moon to hike in, which is awesome. And just a little bit after 7 o'clock. So we're going to head down. We'll see how far we can get to set up camp tonight, but this is a through hike of the East Fork. So my pack is 33 pounds. Robert's right here is 33 pounds. David has a 36 pound pack. And Don over there is at what? 29.5. Nice. Here we go. Start of the Mine Gold's Trail. First stop of the night is Tom Vincent's cabin. Come inside for you guys' delight. You got the, right here, the fireplace. You got an old pod in here. Uh, it's not the original roof, but still very cool to see in here. Uh, some old springs, some old pieces of metal. I can just imagine that old man staying here. Yeah. From what I've heard, a big grizzly he killed he used to have the, the bear skin up here. So this is our first stop for the night. We're going to try to make it down the Mine Gulch. 10.30 and we have came to the plane crash down here. Uh, I believe it was a, a glider. There's no engines or nothing like that. We got one of the wings right here in front of me. Here's the main part of it. And then right over here another wing. Pretty neat to see. We went searching for this earlier where we thought it was and it wasn't so we just got our exercise. We found it now. And that's how this plane crashed. <laughs> Here we are at the junction for Prairie Fork Trail, which goes up to the Cabin Flat area in Lupine. Uh, we are going to be staying on the Mine Gulch Trail, though. Uh, campground is right back there where the lights are. You see Don. And camp's right over there somewhere. So that's where our camp is going to be for the night, about four and a half miles in. It is after, or almost midnight. It's almost midnight. Just gonna show you the inside of my tent here, my Lunar Solo. And what I have, I have my Go Light bag in there. My Go Light 30, my Climate uh, Static V insulated light. Just a couple other little things. Got a pillow there, but I'll probably use my uh, Ghost Whisper as a pillow as well. It's not too cold out. So, yeah, that's it. That's home for the night. It's 12.30, going to bed. It is actually 39 degrees outside. So like I said before, I've got my Go Light 30 on. So we'll see how warm I am tonight. If I need to, I've got some base layers I can put on as well. Good morning, Saturday morning. Here at camp, we've got uh, Robert's Passage 1. we got David's Lunar Solo, my Lunar Solo. And over here, Don's Hammock. Just had a little bit of breakfast here. And we're going to be heading down that way. Our uh, goal for today is Iron Fork. And then maybe if we get a chance, check out one of the mines. And from there, the following day, we got a nice easy hike out to Heaton Flats. Okay, this is a Mine Gulch campsite. Uh, some, a little bit of trash over here. The, I guess when they came down last year, they cleaned out quite a bit. Just one tarp there, one tarp over there. That 50, 50 degree bag that somebody left. 
right through here and then uh, right over here is uh, apple tree that uh, Alan came before and put some fertilizer down on and brought up some water. That's it, that's the apple tree here at uh, Mine Gulch. Pretty cool, it's still alive. Just came down from uh, Mine Gulch camp and we're coming down here to get some water. And look at this around me. We came in at night so I didn't get to see any of this. It's pretty freaking cool. Uh, there's a big gulch right over here going up. Right up there would be the Bighorn Mine. Using Robert's camera here for you guys, so make sure to check out his channel. Right there, to the left a little, up, oh, right there, right in the middle. There it is, the Bighorn Mine. You can see from down here perfectly. There's probably a few people up there hiking today right now. That's it, that's the Bighorn Mine from down here at Mine Gulch. Beautiful. Robert Tout says there's a bridge to somewhere. This is what we've been having to go down. This, the creek bed basically, the old creek bed. Stopping for lunch. Forgot my crackers at home. I was supposed to have crackers with my sausage and cheese. I was supposed to have some mustard too, but left that all at home. But still got summer sausage, still got some cheese. We'll make it work. That mountain right there in the distance is Iron Mountain. One of the hardest mountains here in SoCal to do. It'll be conquered soon. Across the way where Robert's hiking through is a fish fork, it's actual fish fork. River, but then over here is the camp. And how neat is this? This thing has been built up over the years. Lots of miners, just travelers in general will come here. You've got their fire pit. Look how much ash is in there throughout the years. The table. Can you imagine the stories that were told around this table. Right behind me is Falls Gulch. We've got less than a mile to go to Iron Fork, which is camp for the night. Show you what's behind me here. Beautiful out here. We have made it to Iron Fort Camp for the night. We're gonna solo set up over here. Don's got his tarp set up. And then over there is uh, got another Lunar Solo, David's again. Show it to you. Some nice tarp set up. Got David's Lunar Solo. And Robert over there with his Passage One. We're gonna come over here and so get some water quick and uh, have ourselves some dinner. So this is dinner for the night. Some grown up mac and cheese. I'm boiling the water now. But on top of that, uh, Monica, when she dropped us off yesterday, also gave me some uh, fresh bacon for that. So I'm going to throw in some bacon as well. Be a great dinner. Here at camp this morning. You see all the tents behind me. You get passage one, Lunar Solo, tarp. Hi, Lunar Solo. There's all the guys having breakfast. It's gonna be a great day going out. Just wanted to show you guys Don's shelter for the night. He took his hammock tarp, slept underneath his cowboy camping with his hammock gear quilt. Mad props to him, man. <laughs> he it was, got down to 35, 36 last night and he was nice and toasty down here. This is Backpacker Dave's uh, shelter, one of the ones he's made. This one's still up, the other one I guess got tore down. We got this little swinging rock here with the cables. Could have been used as a table or a swing. I think there was a swing actually. Okay, there's a swing. Don's about to sit on. Just don't lean back. 
So then we'll go here inside in a second. Got an old door you put on. You can see it still works. You can still lock it. And pull it back out. He spent some time making this. That's for sure. So we got the tarp and everything. He lived back here for years between this and another shelter. So I'm inside the shelter now. I'm filming on my phone. Here's his, uh, where he cooked. He has a little fireplace up here. Now, of course, you got a bunch of rat poop. But, uh, he had shelves in here. Another window back here. Shelf up there to put stuff. Very neat. Looks like he's got something up here. A Bible up there. Always good to see that. So, in the door right there, you can see Robert outside. Very cool. We got to go see it. Here we are guys, we have made it to the bridge. And that is where my grandpa built it. Brain operator, let's go check it out. So here we are, there's the bridge behind me. Gonna go check it out, Take a, get a little snack here quick and head out. Got four and a half miles to go, but get back to the car. Get a nice little dinner when we get back for lunch. This has been a blast so far. Take a look at that guys. Always cool to see something that you're grandpa or parents built I can come back here and see if I can look at my grandpa's work all the time so there it is bridge to nowhere Robert's graciously let me use his camera let's find these guys uh, where are they now right there in front of me zoomed in on didn't even know how cool is that to see Right here, the bridge to nowhere. So I can zoom in on this guy. Got some little horns. Oh, I got a little. There they are. Just watching us. Watching us watch them. Look how easily they go up that. That's awesome. Beautiful animals. Does it go up like nothing? Good little family. There you go. Look at him. Whoop, 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 whoop. That one had a rock knocked down at him. Look at this guy just. <laughs> now they got to there, it's like, where do I go from here? They're looking. That's it. Just like that. He says, let's go up. That's their pathfinder. So look how, look at that, I'm going to zoom back out for him. Wow. So right in front of me up there, this Swan Rock. Right there. Almost back to the heat and flats to the campground.
Look where we are guys, Eaton Flats. Now just a little bit of a hike to the car and we're there. And then this hike is complete. It doesn't end right here. Got about a quarter, half mile to go. Look who it is. Monica and Diamond. Well, we are almost back to the parking lot for Heaton Flats, and that means our hike will be coming to an end. It's been an amazing time these past couple days. Friday night starting at Vincent Gap, now ending here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a lot of fun putting this one together. So if you do like it, hit like, comment below. If you're, if you're now a subscriber, subscribe. Until next time. We'll see you on the next adventure. Okay, Don, what's your weight? So I started out at 29.5, and now I've got 32.4. Hmm, I, I, I gained some weight. When I started the hike, I was at 33 pounds. Uh, see here, zero it out. 28.1. Dropped five pounds. 29. Ooh. Not bad for you. Uh, under 30. Four pounds of water. What did you start off at, Robert? 33. 33. So 33 and a half. Something like that. Now I have 27, 26.9.